she's a dumbass. That's basically what she that's, that's basically what she's trying to tell y'all. you guys um it's a new vlog and i figured i would just go ahead and start it now because um i've not seen you guys in three weeks i know i'm shitty and i'm going to explain not that it matters but i mean it's just been it's been crazy uh by the way i was messing with the settings on my camera so if i'm kind of like in and out of focus i don't really know what i did um but i feel like it's like i'm trying to turn this tracking thing off and it's just not working like it's hmm yeah, I don't know. So, I just woke up. It is August 16th. It is Tuesday. As you guys see on the bottom of the screen. I have to work today, but I figured I would go ahead and just start this vlog now because, like, it's it's time. Like, we need to get some content up. Like, I've been, I've been slacking. Um, we're about to run to the post office because I have to pick up a package that was supposed to be delivered yesterday. I think it's just one, and it didn't come. So, I'm going to go grab that. And we're going to talk in the car about, like, basically just, like, my absence. Um, and, like, where I've kind of been. So, I'm going to go ahead and just do that. Go ahead and just get to the car because if we start now, we're not going to leave here for another 20 minutes or something crazy. So, yeah. So, that took me like forever to get my camera to be where I needed to be. I need to just get a go, get a, go ahead and get another car mail, but I just I haven't because since that one broke, it just kind of like ticked me off. And I was like, you know what? Now, I don't even want to buy another one. But I've kind of got my tripod like wedged in between my windshield and my dash. So, it's kind of like working for now. Anyways, we'll see if it stays that way. I just doubt it. I feel like it's going to like break or fall any second. Um, so, basically, last time I talked to you guys in a vlog, I told you about what happened with my subscribers for YouTube and basically how like I just was in a funk. Um, I really think it extremely demotivated me because I've thought about YouTube and how I need to do something the last three weeks but like I've had no desire to pick up my camera like I look at it and I walk away I look at it and I walk away and I should realize that that's not how that works normally when you know something hits you hard it means you need to come back harder um I normally like to believe positively and most of the time I like to believe that bad things happen to you so that there can be a better outcome it's just been hard for me. I just, I don't know why. I've just felt super demotivated to do anything that has to do with YouTube. Literally, my chin has been breaking out crazy. I know you guys can see it. Like, my skin was doing so great. Everything was going great. And all of a sudden, my skin started breaking out. So, I contacted my doctor. And I was like, listen, like my chin's breaking out really bad. And she's like, have you changed up your diet? And I was like, I mean, yes and no. Like, I'm still eating really healthy. But, like, I'm incorporating, um, I've been eating Hello Fresh meals basically for the last like month. Like I haven't ate really much of anything else. I mean, I've went out a few times, but mostly that's what me and Nash are eating now. And she's like, well, is there a lot of ingredients in them? And I'm like, actually, they have a lot more um, like butter in them than most things that I eat. Like they call for more butter, like more than what I usually normally eat. She's olive oil for everything. So she was like, mm, so that could be it. And then she's like, have you been stressed? And at first I was like, no, I'm fine. And then I was like, no, I 100% I stay stressed lately. Like, I'm so annoyed with everything. Like, I've lately, all I've wanted to do is move. I've, like, just wanted a new place. Just wanted, like, a new space to just feel like myself. I've not wanted to sit in front of my flower wall and do makeup. And then I came home and, like, had an entire breakdown about how I just feel like I'm ugly for no reason. Like, I don't have any reason to feel that way. Like, at all like I guess I just seen some breakouts and I would love to blame it on like my my menstrual cycle because it's normally what does it like I get really hormonal especially like I have with age now um lately I feel like I get really hormonal the week before and just angry about everything like I want to just burn shit down <laughs> but like I do everything I'm supposed to I was like I told I was I was complaining to Nash I was like you know I I follow my skincare I do everything that I'm supposed to I take my vitamins but actually I haven't even been taking my vitamins last few weeks so my camera's trying to overheat but um it's not even sunny outside what's your problem so like i've just i don't know and then i got into tiktok a few weeks ago and my numbers started growing i gained over like 100 followers in less than three weeks and i was getting a lot of like engagement and feedback and 
that made that made me feel motivated to want to do TikTok more because I don't care how motivated you are and how much you believe in yourself. The numbers do help because it, it's basically like feedback. If you get good feedback from something, that's something that you want to continue to do. My YouTube's been kind of stagnant, to be honest. Like, um, after I gained those subscribers, that was awesome. I literally went from 500 to 600 in less than a few months. But when I really thought I was about to hit that thousand mark and like it was going to be a break for me and then it didn't happen, it just really took a toll on me. Um, my gym schedule has just been has been rough. Um, I've, I've just really not felt like myself, I guess, mentally. Like, I just feel like something's, something's missing in my life. And I don't know if something's actually missing in my life or if I just feel like I need something to give me, like, what's it called? Like, purpose? Like, like I'm always, like, either thinking about a vacation or, like, a new house. Like, I really want a nice home. And I'm, I really feel like that comes from, like, being 26 and feeling like I'm behind somehow because for some reason in this world and I just kind of lost my train of thought so I think that we were talking about like me wanting somewhere to live and feeling like I'm behind let me readjust this camera um I I do and I think that just comes from society thinking that you know by 30 you should just have your life figured out and your home and da -da 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 and all that good stuff and oh let me not hit their trash can God, who gave me a freaking license is what I want to know. Jesus, like, I could have cut that a little deeper. I'm so sorry. I mean, I didn't hit them, so I guess I shouldn't be sorry. Whatever. So, I feel like that has a lot to do with it, but also just, like, in general, I just felt very, like, out of touch with what I want to do, and I really do want to do YouTube, and actions speak louder than words, so it's like, I'm just going to have to get my, my butt back in gear and, like, do this again, like... So, since I haven't seen you guys, I went to a wedding, but it was with uh, part of my family that, it's like, I told you guys that I'm adopted, so on my birth side of my family, they don't really understand this whole, like, YouTube beauty stuff, like, they kind of think that it's silly, so it's like, I don't really want to film around them because I just don't want them, you know, to make me feel uncomfortable or make fun of me, and I feel like a lot of people that would love to be a YouTuber or a vlogger don't do it because of their family, and that really does suck because you have to basically be a person that's just like i don't care what you guys have to say i'm just gonna do it but i just wasn't trying to do that at the wedding so i did that and then i've basically been just cooking a lot at home if you guys follow me on instagram and tiktok you all have seen them in the mini vlogs like that's all i've been doing lately is like i'll go do my appointments or my errands for the day and then i come home and i cook and I guess it's just kind of been a comfort thing for me as well. Not like eating, just like cooking in my own house and going out to eat just like, it just hasn't been hitting the same lately. And I just, I don't know. I feel like I've just been going through a lot of my thoughts in the last few months, I feel like overall, but the last like really two months, I've just really felt like there needs to be a change in my life to shift. I don't know, like I said, I really feel like a move would make me feel better just overall. I just haven't felt comfortable in a while, like just where I'm at and just everything. Like I just, and, and it's like when I do get in a good spot and I feel like, you know, like I said, when I thought that my YouTube video was about to go, you know, up and like reach a thousand subscribers and people were going to start taking me seriously, like believing like, oh, she can actually do this. She's going to start, you know, possibly getting monetized and paid for this. Like, and then it just literally got crushed even though I jinxed it 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 just really really took a toll on me and I don't know so this week we're gonna we're gonna order our vitamins and we're gonna just we're gonna get back to normal because honestly consistency is key I wouldn't doubt if me taking um, if me not taking my vitamins has been what's caused this breakout plus stress so consistency really is a thing and my vitamins are like collagen um blemish you know stuff for your face uh collagen extra peptide stuff you know basically all the things to make your skin look good plus some that are in there for like your joints for like your health and stuff that's kind of what both of my my mix is i use care of vitamins so you get to go into care of and you fill out their quiz and it tells you what you know you could be looking for whatever you fill out the information basically like let me explain that a little bit better you're gonna go in there tell them what you desire and what your goals are and then they're gonna give you recommendations and then you can choose to accept those recommendations and tweak it if you want to so i just put in the stuff that i care about that affect my daily life and then they give me what i think i need i read each vitamin and make sure it sounds like something that would be useful and helpful to me and then i order it they come in a cute little pre-package with your name on them 
every month and you just get a subscription and re-up them. Oh, I thought that wasper was in my car. I was about to lose my damn mind in this car. That really scared me. Like, I really thought he was, like, in my car. He was not. He was outside the window. Thank God my windows are up. Anyways, yeah, my camera is fine now. So, it was definitely because it was in the window. Even though it's not even hot. Like, I don't understand what your problem is. Whatever. Whatever, whatever, whatever. So, I'm going to go home now and I'm going to get ready for work. And then I'm going to probably touch back in with you guys right before work. And then we're going to actually finish this vlog tomorrow. And then I'm going to edit it and get it up for you guys so that you guys can have some content from me. Um, thank you guys for listening. If you guys stay till right here, thank you so much because I just feel like I'm trying to be more vulnerable with you guys and be more honest. And that's really hard for me. I feel like it's really hard for anybody. But I just, I don't like sharing negativity. I don't know why. I just don't, it doesn't motivate me. So I don't feel like sharing it with you. But it's not about me. It's about you guys. So if you guys feel like you can relate to how I'm feeling or what I'm talking about, please comment below and tell me if you guys, you know, feel the same way or just basically you know anything to make me you know feel like I'm giving you guys the content that you need like if I'm helping you with something you're going through just know that even though I'm very positive and I'm very much you know goal driven and motivated I struggle just as much as you probably don't think I do like I be I be hating going to the gym sometimes y'all I'm like fuck this gym fuck these weights why do I care I'm like I'm almost 30 I don't even give a shit and then I literally a few days go out I'm like mm, no, I definitely give a shit, okay? Um, when my skin looks really, really good, that's when I want to, like, film and, you know, take pictures and I feel good about myself. And I'm like, okay, I finally feel like I'm pretty and I'm proud. And then not even a week later, I'll get a small breakout and I immediately just will go into a downhill spiral and, um, and I start beating myself up. I'm like, why aren't you this? Why can't you just do this? Like, I'm really, really hard on myself. So if you guys are really, really hard on yourselves, just know that good days and bad days are going to come and other people will feel the same way. So I'm going to stop ranting and I'm going to touch back in with you guys whenever I get to the house where I get ready and show you guys this package. So I just got done getting ready for work. Um, I'm pretty sure I told you guys that I work at Hooters. You know that. So I just threw my makeup on because you know what? We were being a little sad in the beginning of this vlog and the only way to make you feel better is to put on some full glam and feel like a bad bitch. So I ordered this Refi Beauty lip stain um and that's what i'm gonna wear today and i'm gonna let you guys know um it's basically it's a lip stain so you're supposed to use this lip liner i got this in the shade fawn and you're supposed to put it on you're supposed to put the sealant on and then it says you can put your lip gloss or whatever you want on it and it should be fine so i'm just gonna take it out we're gonna throw this baby on and we're gonna see what it do so apparently this is obviously the lip liner so we're gonna put this on i can't see a fucking thing yeah let me do it back here and then turn around y'all First things first, it's like any other lip liner. Um, I probably have like about five of these shades. What's new? Because I have about a million browns. Okay, so now that I got it on, you're just to then um, open up the bottom and just put this on top of it. And then hmm. it's a little applicator. Really weird. It's really weird. Thank you. Can you give me some light in my face? Oh, thank you so much. You're supposed to let it dry. It's supposed to be, it's supposed to be like rub-off proof. So, we're going to see. I don't know why I'm going to wipe this off like it matters, but I'm going to. So, I'm going to put this in my bag. And then, I'm going to throw on some gloss over it once it dries. It says I'm pretty sure dry for 20 seconds is what I read. And then, but yeah. So I'm gonna work. I'll tell you guys about the lip liner whenever I get home and we'll see what it looks like. And I'll tell you if I had to reply and all that good stuff. Blah, 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 blah. And then, um, yeah, that's it. Hello, loves. So welcome back to a few days later. So I was gonna wrap this vlog up the day before yesterday, but I was like, you know what? We're doing things today. We'll just wrap it together. So hear me out. We are, Katie, Katie is we, we, we are, <laughs> At Dollywood today. What did you say? Where did you say we're at? Is East, what is East it? Tennessee, girl. Do you not know what part? Yeah, but I mean, I don't feel like that's necessary. They know we're in Tennessee, aren't they? Watching? They don't know that. Not if, I, I reason, forget that you guys new. are new. I'm so sorry. Welcome to my channel. Hi, subscribe, like, I all the good things. I just don't think that way. I think that I'm just talking to the people that be watching. Yeah, or Dollywood could be in a whole different state. You never know. <laughs> okay, so Dollywood. Dollywood is in East Tennessee. It's a theme park, and that's what we're doing today. So I'm going to try to, you know, get as much footage as possible in here, but at the same time, um, 
I'm not trying to lose my phone on a roller coaster. I'm not yeah, going to lie. If you guys are not new here and you went with us to Atlanta, you know that whenever I got on that Ferris wheel, I about had a stroke because of heights. So if I die today, this is a, what is it called? A memoir? Yep. Peace out, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> it's the lack of care for me. <laughs> no, but story time. So I have season passes for Dollywood, right? So I didn't bring my season pass today because season passes that I checked, it said they are not allowed for Fridays and Saturdays. Well, I'm a dumbass. That means you're bringing a friend pass. So I literally all just paid $90 to get into this theme park where my mom brought me, brought me, bought me passes for literally this entire year. So like I just costed myself $100 basically because by the time I bought me a drink in here, it's $100 y'all. You know how annoyed that is? <sighs> She's a dumbass. That's basically, that's, that's basically what she's trying to tell y'all. I was not happy. You know how mad I am right now? Trash. Trash. See y'all making it nice. So clammy and sweaty. Like y'all know I'd be about that way about heights anyways, but yeah, I just that made me so nervous. Like that made me so nervous. Are we gonna be able to get footage of that? That's smart. Oh, I see it. Yeah, you. I see you, big guy. Okay. Oh, yeah, they're big, big. I didn't even notice them. I believe they're sticking at the fountain. They're most, they're most hmm. Oh, Three rides in less than like an hour. It's only, like maybe 30 Yeah. We've all been here long. No. Okay, so I just got ready. We're always in a hurry, you know. Cute little outfit, cute jeans. Actually, let me just do it this way, make it easier for you. So, you know, we love a good turtleneck. That's what we're doing. Turtleneck, tennis necklace, bracelet, you know, watch, diamond, bling, blah, 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 blah. Bag, these green pants and these nude heels. I'm trying to hide my toes. I broke my toe like bad. Like I broke my big toe and whatever. That's story time for another day. 
Yep, so I feel cute. Okay. So y'all can't see my makeup, but it's like just everyday regular makeup. The lip liner I told y'all about, so I'm wearing it again. It's bomb. Katie used it too. I love it. There's Nats in the car and Katie's fucking tripping right now. I'm like, what? <laughs> Why are they here? I don't know. I didn't. Did we leave something open? Bitch, I don't know. Okay, so. But there's a what? Anyways, I'm sorry. Basically, story time at my toes. So I lost my two toenails because I was literally almost late for work shocker and i was running up the steps and when i did i jammed the fuck out of my toe like hit it so bad that i thought i broke my toe good news is acrylic toe saved me i did not well fast forward to five weeks later <sighs> they just came off and i don't mean just the acrylic part like my whole toes came off so like like the toe and all like she don't she don't got big toe anymore. I, mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean like my regular toenail and my fucking <laughs> acrylic toe whatever anyways <laughs> So I only have like a half a nail on my big toe and my, what's the one next to it? My, I guess my, my middle finger, but on my toe, my feet. The toe next to your big toe, that's all you gotta say. Anyways, it's also missing one. So like, let's just hope no one looks down at my feet, which they're going to. But I'm gonna just keep my toes pushed back. I'm like, oh, don't look at it. Don't look at it. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I cannot with you. Look at this. Yo, like seriously, why are they in my car? I don't know. Maybe we should roll the window down so they can get out. Maybe I should just clean my car. You think that's it? Shit, I don't know. That's not just manifest. I had to come in here at some point. Shit, I don't know. Anyways, while she's having a meltdown. Listen, y'all, this, this hair is still wet. Like, I just don't even care. It's raining outside and we're hungry. Yeah, we just time I would have dried my shit, you know how mad I would have been and Katie would be like, why are you drying your hair when it's literally been raining outside and the humidity is going to just and ruin that? And then we drive by the time we get downtown. So my hair is like, damn yeah, fine. It's going to be fine. Listen, this cute little bag is... I can't even give y'all an update because Katie was giving an update. So I feel like y'all heard what she said. We're drinking drinks. This is good. Yeah. Mm. Oh my God. It's good, good. Okay. Like, yeah. this is mango-y mango. Like, that tastes like real mango. My hair is still damp, y'all. And, like, I think it's making me cold. Ooh. It's mango-y mango. mango. Uh-huh. Yeah. Ooh, I gotta cut this off. This music's gonna give me a cough for I love y'all. Sorry. Cool. We are lit as fuck. I'm in the back seat. We're about to go dance. Haven't updated y'all on the vlog because it's loud as fuck. There's a lot of music going on, but yup, we got to get it. Hey, I ain't been all night, bro. Because you've been conversational. It's alright. I just like listening. 